What's up guys, Hardcore Hector here, and I thought I'd give a little information on NVIDIA's latest update, which is the 344.48 driver update, and it enables dynamic super resolution, or DSR, for Kepler and Fermi desktop GPUs now. Because it originally was just for the new 900 series GPUs, I believe that's Maxwell, but now they enabled it for 400, 500, 600, and 700 series graphics cards, and it basically allows your PC to render at a higher resolution and then downsample it or downscale it to your uh, monitor's native resolution. So to enable it, just go over to NVIDIA's control panel. You can usually open it from down here or you can find it in your control panel settings and all that stuff. And if you don't know what your monitor's native resolution is, you can go to change resolution and then it'll have all these different resolutions and next to it, it'll say native. So to enable this thingy, you go to manage 3D settings and you'll see down here it says DSR factors. It'll be off by default. The description is dynamic super resolution DSR produces smoother images by rendering a game at a high resolution then downscaling it to the native resolution of the display using advanced filtering. Dynamic super resolution resolution can be applied to any game and can be used with other anti-aliasing settings to improve image quality. So if you want to enable it, just click this and then you'll see a bunch of multipliers. So you just multiply the native resolution. My monitor is at 1080p. So I can do four times the native resolution and it'll render it at 4K and then downscale it to 1080, 1080p. And then right under it is DSR smoothness says use the slider to control smoothness versus sharpness of the downscaled image. So it says lower value produces a sharper but more aliased image and higher value produces a smoother but blur blurrier image. So just use a slider, click OK, and then click apply, and that's it. That's all you have to do, and that's what dynamic super resolution is. So give it a try if you want. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, you can give it a thumbs down. And you can subscribe to my channel to see more video game related stuff and maybe some tech videos here and there.